hopeless situation. Attacks on Christians in Nigeria explode in frequency. On September 17th, a pastor and dozens from his congregation were kidnapped from a Christian church in northwest Nigeria. 57 Christians were kidnapped at another church in the in a north central state less than a week before. There had been a significant increase in attacks and abductions on both Christian church members and their clergy in Nigeria. According to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, or uh, ACLED for short, 45 attacks have been carried out in the first six months of 2022 alone. Last June, at least 50 died when assailants opened fire and detonated explosives. From January 2020 to July of 2022, there have been 99 separate incidents in which priests were kidnapped or murders. murdered. Malik Samuel, a researcher at the Institute of Security Studies, explains, when you kidnap or kill a Christian priest, you get local as well as international attention, and that brings legitimacy to your ransom demand. The Christian NGO Open Doors reported that 4,650 Christians were killed in Nigeria in 2021. Uh, Abdebalo Ola Deji, a spokesperson from the Christian Association of Nigeria, said it is becoming a hopeless situation. So I really wanted to talk about this because, one, we've been trying to put more focus on Africa in general. And a lot of stuff has been happening in Nigeria, and we've been continuing to cover that. So I wanted to talk about this as well. And I didn't realize how bad the scope of the problem was, honestly. So like I said, in the past three years, there have been almost 100 attacks and targeted kidnappings alone, which is a huge explosion over what we've seen in the past several decades. And... Based on what I was reading, and I think this is important to highlight, it's not entirely a jihadist problem. Part of it is definitely a jihadist problem. So we see that from Boko Haram. We see that from the Islamic State in West Africa province, so ISIS in Africa. Um, and we also see a problem of this coming from the Fulani herdsmen, who are a predominantly Muslim uh, ethnic group who have a series of contentions with Christian landowners. And so that exacerbates this problem. But a large portion of this comes from basically just the kidnapping industry of Nigeria. You know, the most famous example would be all the school girls that were kidnapped, you know, bring back our girls, that campaign. And what the people who engage in this practice or this kind of economy basically have discovered is that Christians are more likely to one, get attention internationally when they're targeted. And so this brings them legitimacy as a group that engages in this kind of thing. And two, they're more likely to actually shell out the money. Because if you go after a Catholic priest, it's more likely that the Catholic church will actually pay up essentially. And so it's not necessarily a always about Christian versus Muslims from an ideological angle. It's more kind of like taking advantage of international Christian institutional support. Um, but the problem is, is that the result is that it is becoming a Christian Muslim issue. I mean, like I said, there are parts that are 100% jihadist incentivized and done and executed, right? 100, there's some that are 100% just straight up that. But then as this becomes such a consistent and terrible pattern throughout Nigeria, even the regions that are supposed to be really, really safe, like in the South, the broader nation, the broader communities are seeing this as a Christian versus Muslim thing. Armin, what are your reactions? This is why you negotiate, don't negotiate with terrorists, right? Um, and you're telling me that Catholic church and other religious institutions have a Christian institutions haven't recognized that. 
Do you think that they haven't recognized this on purpose because it's just good for just raising money and acting like you're doing something and fundraising and acting like you're useful while you're actually might be responsible for why more Christians okay, are dying? That is extremely you... cynical. I didn't even think about it from that angle. From that angle. Yeah. I hope not. Okay, but let me be clear. The Catholic Church, from what I have read, especially in some of these most recent kidnapping and attacks of priests and pastors, they never actually admit or make a statement that they paid up anything. They never claimed to do any of that. But we know that it happens. So I don't know if they go around fundraising for someone's ransom right because this seems to all happen behind like closed doors they do yeah dia saying the vatican does report on this like they do obviously talk about the persecution that their members are facing i mean but they love to it my knowledge they don't go out and fundraise for a ransom mm -hmm. okay okay to my knowledge mm. Guys, don't pay. Don't pay terrorists. They will create more victims. I don't know. This is everybody knows this. Why do people don't understand that this is like you're not helping people? You're helping those people specifically at the time, but you're causing creating more victims. I mean, the lives of people's families are at risk, and they do shoot yeah. people in there will be more people at risk. There will yeah, by paying them, you will are putting more people at risk. I understand, but can you expect an average person to make that utilitarian calculation and follow through on it when it's someone in their life? No, I'm asking institutions. I'm asking, I'm not asking average individuals. I understand that. I would pay, okay? In fact, if somebody kidnapped you, I would pay, okay? If I could, okay? I would do a fundraiser, okay? But I'm not an institution. <laughs> I'm not an institution. I'm an individual. I'm asking in institutions. Institutions are not uh, have higher degrees of separation from the victims of involved, and that's why we expect more from them than individuals. Okay, unless they're religious institutions, then we don't expect anything from them other than evil. Okay, and this is like, so yeah, a process of That's what you're dealing with. Um, yeah, I mean, good job. You know religious institutions you're putting more christians at risk by paying up you are partly responsible for the deaths by paying terrorists but i mean yeah. i don't know at the same time like what no people will pay for your release look at this make. people in the left oh. like oh they're crying they say i would pay too oh they would pay for your releases <laughs> 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 oh my god i think insane. i don't i don't know even oh, as an institution I, I, you... I say would pay too. Oh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay don't worry guys i'm fine um i also wanted to talk about this because when we've been covering some of these attacks against christians in nigeria recently we armin i know sometimes when we talk about them when, especially that giant massacre that happened a few months ago um we're asking these questions like what the hell is going on in, on in Nigeria? Like what is leading to some of this? What, you know, having that perspective of there has to be something more to this than just people going and shooting up 55 people. Right. And so this gave me a lot of perspective on some of the broader things that are going on where it's actually has more to do with security issues and, the kidnapping industry, the economics of kidnapping and how much money there is to make in that industry and feeds into this so much. That's it's not, yeah. it's not purely just a religious ideological thing as much as some people in, you know, our audience. No, it's, it's often, that. it's often not. Okay. Here's the thing. It's often mix of religion and something else. Okay. I there's like it seems like people a lot of people want to be on an extreme on um when they come when it comes to the, their position on this okay 
the people who say this has nothing to do with Islam or this has nothing to do with religion. It's about, I don't know, money, greed, politics, power, land dispute, everything but religion, they are often wrong. Usually when the, the religion is also somewhat responsible or very irresponsible, okay? But also to our side, there are a lot of people on our side that are also wrong. And they say like, oh, it's just religion. It's all religion. And, the, you know, the main, the, if you had no religion, none of this would happen. Okay, no, religion is fueling it. Religion is mobilizing it, is recruiting people for it, is motivating people for to do it, is justifying it, uh, people coming up with justif uh, justification for it, is coming up with legal protections for it in some places, but it's not the sole reason why it's happening. Usually it's multifactorial. Just like many things in life, life is complicated. There are often non one thing that is the reason for what something else is happening. Most things, most events in life is multifactorial, but our minds likes simplicity. So we like to reduce multifactorial thing into single factorial thing because we, it will make us feel like we understand things because mm -hmm. it's easier for us to explain things. Okay. But life is more complicated than that. Anyways, we got so exactly. Got yeah. This okay, the super chat was making me laugh in the middle of you talking. <laughs> Cena gave us a ten dollar super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat, Cena. And Cena says this is for Susanna's ransom fund. Disclaimer, do not use it for Armin. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank hilarious. You, Cena. <laughs> it's All like right. i will armin's like i appreciate it because you are saving the life of Susie, but you i will ignore the dig at me <laughs> <laughs> and i thought this comment from bara is worth reading bara is saying my country is basically occupied by a very fragmented criminal organization it's crimes that are at the root of most of the bad news that comes out of nigeria yeah there's a i mean it's so complex the levels of corruption and stuff that goes on there um <laughs> sorgu is like lol we should pay for armin too oh thank you thank you thank Shriash you. saying armin doesn't go to the gym for no reason that's right i don't even need your money i will make my way out they can't hold me they cannot that would be the end of them <laughs> and in no fact one. i got myself i in fact that was my solution tonight i got myself in trouble just to save nigeria that's what it <laughs> that was bad. too much um i quickly dialed it back as soon as yeah I, as absolutely as mad man <laughs> no man is saying i would not pay for armin just kidding just kidding yeah all right um wait what d is saying i will time out anyone who <laughs> Oh, As the oh, mod, thanks. D is like, I will bring, I will crack down on consequences on those who do not pay for Armin. Whoa, let's read this. This is amazing. Whoa. Something I don't remember is saying I have done shopping worth 8000 this month through Amazon just for Susie. God damn. For those Guys. who don't know, if you... Mm add atheist republic as the charity that you support on amazon smile a percentage of what you spend goes to atheist republic and the work that we do here so you can support atheist republic while you do your shopping at no expense to you and something i don't remember is saying that they have you supported shop? atheist republics through amazon smile thank you so much is it is, yeah guys so basically you're paying us money without actually spending any money that's why like you're donating to atheist republic by just doing your regular shopping if you do that is, is the link for that in the description on how to do that? yes it should yes, be okay okay guys check that um, out this thank is hilarious you. something i don't remember saying i also would not pay for armin <laughs> <laughs> it's too late we will use your amazon shopping donations for my release oh my so. gosh yes um, um oh ayan is gonna do it as well thank you ayan nice yeah if you want to <laughs> figure out how to um 
uh, support us via Amazon Smile. We made a whole segment about it a few weeks ago, so you can find if, like that segment on our channel. Just link in the description. You should be able if you can open a Facebook account or a YouTube account or a Gmail account. You should be you have enough skill set to be able to do that. Yeah. Right. So. No, I just meant for people who want to actually see instructions because we went through the instructions. But yeah. most people could be able to figure it out without that. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.